It's been less than two weeks since Troy's overnight ambulance fleet was reduced by one, and the president of the union representing Troy's firefighters say they are feeling the strain already. Today I spoke with that union president trying to hear more about his biggest concerns and what he hopes to see in the city's upcoming budget. In one week, Troy's Fire Company responding to four late night fires back to back, and they're feeling the strain now that the ambulance dubbed Medic 3 has been moved off the night shift. You can only stretch the rubber band so far before it snaps, right? And, uh, you know, we think we're putting a price on people's lives, the citizens' lives, and the firefighters' lives in this city. Troy Mayor Patrick Madden has previously stated Medic 3 moving to the overnights was always temporary while construction was completed at the Canal Avenue Firehouse. However, Troy Uniformed Firefighters Association President Eric Wisher says the recent rash of fires are a prime example why more staff is needed. He says since nearly all the firefighters are also paramedics, when they need to treat patients on the scene, they're not available to fight the fires. Sometimes our guys do 12, 15 calls. They fight a fire for three hours and then they're expected to do maybe five or six more calls. He says he petitioned city council with this graph, adding for more budget funding for hiring. Reporting since 1996, the municipal fire staff has remained at 24, but calls have gone up from 5,900 to 13,817 in 2022. Wisher says he predicts calls will go up another thousand as the city prepares to introduce more housing. The mayor talked about 700 more units of housing in the state of the city. There's probably another 1,200 on the planning and zoning board prior to that. Troy City Council reportedly already voted there will not be room in the coming budget to add more fire staff. Mayor Madden's office was not available for comment Thursday. Wisher says he just hopes Troy citizens aren't the ones sacrificing. Hopefully at some point uh, it doesn't take a tragedy for something to change. The firefighters union estimates it would cost between $350,000 and $432,000 to fully operate Medic 3 on an overnight rotation. And Wisher further adds, although they've got 144 people who've already applied mm -hmm. to take the upcoming firefighters uh, exam, those who pass and go for the paramedic training, it's going to take at least two years for them to get through all that. It's certainly a long time. Yeah. And, you know, one of the fire over the weekend, uh, a firefighter actually broke his leg slipping mm -hmm. on the ice. So they're already down one person there, too. All right, Michaela. Thanks for keeping us updated on that.